Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment button and share um, for my fellow fire signs. So this is going to be general messages for Aries, Leo, and Sag placements. This can be your sun. This can be your sun, moon, and rising, okay? Um, or your Venus. And hell, if you know how to work your chart and you got Aries somewhere, you got Leo somewhere, you got Sag somewhere, make it work, okay? Hey. All right, so boom. I'm going to start by shuffling. I got my letters. I don't know if you guys, okay, we always trying to create content. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hold up. This came out. Okay. So I'm going I'm to grab some more letters. Mm, mm, okay. My fire sign. Let me start with uh, Aries first. So, Aries, Aries, Aries. You, your, um, what is this? Your sacral chakra. Um, it can be um, a little underactive. You may not be um, sexually active right now. Um, you got these two letters. And then I also saw the letter at, um, S. So you, so you piece it together. Now, I saw EX, and then I saw the letter S. Just saying. Um, you over there probably frustrated because you, you know, you want to, you know, relieve some tension. But, you know, you're just, you're staying to yourself right now. It's airy season. It's hot outside. You know, you want to get busy. But you're like, you know. I really don't, I really don't have anyone that's worthy of me even doing that for some of my Aries, okay? Um, you know, I'm an Aries rising. I know how you feel, okay? All right. So, yeah. Also, we have the letters E-X. X. Okay? So, basically, for my Aries, I feel like for some of y'all, you know, if you have made peace with your past and... You and people that you have dealt with in the past are on good terms, then hey, this might not be your story, okay? So you can just click off. Um, but if not, you know, continue supporting me and listen. But I feel like for a good amount of Aries placements, all right, your ex now that it's getting hot, I feel like, you know, when it gets hot, a lot of the times people do want to, you know, be free, but I feel like for some Aries placements, your your ex, they're thinking about you now that it's getting hot. Um, maybe since it's when it's hot, you guys have more fun, um, you do more activities, or um shit. Now let's talk about it. Maybe when it's hot, y'all on a good accord, okay? With my Aries placements, you know, it don't take nothing for you to snap sizzle, I mean snap crackle pop. So maybe when it's hot outside, y'all have a very good continuity of, you know, being on a good accord. Now, are, are all couples going to be on the up and up? No. That's no fun. You know, sometimes you're going to have little moments and then y'all can make up. Okay? Let's talk about it. Um, So, yeah. But I feel like something is very... Something is very important around summertime with you and an old person. Like maybe that's when you guys met or maybe that's when things started to get more serious or maybe this is when you decided to break away from it. Like something was important. Something happened when it was hot. Like this, the Aries energy, it pushed you to do something. Um, now, whether that was smack them in their face, break up with them, Make love to him. I don't know. You know, just, you know, choose how it how it applies. But definitely for my Aries placements, I feel like whoever you were dealing with, and hell, this can be more than one person, okay? Because Aries are very phenomenal, okay? Um, I feel like these people or this person, they, they got you, ooh, love on the brain. They got you on their brain. Love on the brain. You know, that's a beautiful song. That's someone like, they they are crying. Rihanna is crying on that sound. Like, what? Hold on, wait. Pause the beat. Let me see. Let me look up these 
Let's look at these lyrics to Rihanna's song. Love on the brain. Love on the brain. Okay, because I got to read this. Love on the brain. One second. I want to read this. Ooh, I'm tired of being played like a violin. What do I got to do to get in your motherfucking heart? And I feel like Aries has already told them, but I feel like this person is being purpose, purposely dense. Like, like, what are you talking about? I don't... Like, stop playing so much. Stop playing so much. Aries know how to communicate and be logical and tell you what they need. Now, it's up to you to be, um, you know, a, a, a grown-up and say, you know what? I thank you. I do not have the tools or the I don't have the tools to get to love you or give you what you need. Okay? I all the Aries I know, well not all of them, but the Aries that I know that are Aries to a T, they know how to communicate. They is what? This is this, this is that. Stop like, you know, they're they're right to the point. But yeah, love on the brain. That that came to mind. Um, let me see. It said, must be love on the brain, and it keeps cursing my name. No matter what I do, I'm no good without you. So I feel like this person, they are, um, you know, like they want you, but they don't know how to cultivate a rela- a healthy relationship. And Aries, I mean, you you do your stuff too. I ain't going to, okay, I'm not just going to put this all on them. But it's hard for you two guys um, to, to cultivate a healthy relationship. I feel like someone is triggering someone. You guys just take turns of trigger, 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 trigger. Get the get, get the get, get the get, get the get. And, you know, for my people that like to get the get, get the get, I be telling them, just put it down. It's okay. You, it's all right. It's safe here. You don't always have to get the get. But, you know, if that's your choice, that's your weapon, do your thing. I ain't going to hold you. That's that's your prerogative. But I have recently learned how to communicate without being so fiery and softened it up. And I'm like, oh, wow. Like, I'm being, it's, it caused me to be soft with, soft with myself because I was being softer to other people and being more compassionate to them. I'm like, oh, my God. This is a full circle moment. Like, you know? So, um, you put it down. Praise God you put the get down. You just, you keep it in a holster. Boop. You keep it in a holster and pull it out when necessary. Okay? Okay? Put it, pull it out when necessary. Um. Ooh, yes, this is my, my favorite line out of this song. It beats me black and blue, but it fucks me so good. So someone is missing your sex, Aries. Okay, you know it's mind blowing. It's captivating. It's provocative. It gets the people going. Period. <laughs> so, um, Aries, this person, they're very upset that they can't knock your boots. I'm just gonna say it. For my Aries that um, placements that are have separated from someone, or um, you know, there's someone if you if you can if you call them right now, they're gonna be like, "What's up? Where we going?" You know who you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Aries placements, okay? Um, this person they 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 miss you, but I feel like they don't know how to ha- like the two of you don't guess what? This is what it is. I feel like. Because the both of you have have had like traumatic things, and keep in mind when I say traumatic, it doesn't have to be anything heavy. When I say traumatic, if your parents were or caregivers or adults around you were arguing and they clapped their hands, that's traumatic. Okay, so you know us growing up in these. If you are black and you're watching this, growing up in our households in the nineties, you know we didn't saw a, a bunch of things. Okay, so boom, I feel like. Um, sometimes we get so, um, entrapped in our trauma that it doesn't allow us to have a clear eye view of what we're experiencing. And when something triggers you, it puts you back in a mind frame of, oh, I'm back in 1995. 
It's not safe. I have to I have to survive this moment and I have to defend myself and you know that's that fight or flight. You're not really thinking too logically. Your um your whole goal is to protect yourself, okay? And so um let's talk about it. So yeah, I don't I feel like maybe if you and this person um separated and both of you were committed to like healing or um you know whatever it is and you know healing looks different for different people okay it do so and we can't judge people you know we can't judge people you know some people it might take them five years to learn a lesson airy placement it might take you two weeks two months then and the other person might take them five years you know we're not going to shame people for um how long it takes them to um learn something and it's very dimming here on this youtube video so i'm going to take this off because i think i need some brightness oh that created a chaos oh wow okay that's much better boom okay so yeah and let me pull a This will all be uploaded to YouTube. So if you want to rewatch, ooh, y'all saw that fly out. Mm. So it's this is what you got, Aries placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and what have you. Nothing is yet set in stone. So for my Aries placements, be flexible and be open to um things working out. Things working out for you because some of my Aries placements, you could be like, um, this doesn't have to even be romantic. You could, um, like, I promise you this happened to me. Um, I was thinking something wasn't going to work out and boom, I got, I got a blessing and it worked out. I was like, wow, like this person usually doesn't, now I'm not going to say they don't show up, but it's like they show up. Sometimes they might not show up. For the most part, they show up and then they have like times where they don't show up. But I kept saying like, you know, oh, this person isn't going to show up. This person is going to show up. And then I just stopped and I said, you know what? I make room for unexpected blessings, miracles, um, money, abundance, and boom. Just with me saying those positive affirmations, what I needed got delivered to me. I got what I, I got what I needed plus more. Hello, somebody. Praise God. Okay. So a lot. Yes. Aries placements. I want you to say positive affirmations. Um, the affirmation that I just said, I got that from the hood healer. Um, yeah, I got that from the hood healer. So you can use that if you want to. Um, I make space for unexpected miracles, blessings, finances, and abundance. Say it every day. You can say it. Um, at one o'clock, at three o'clock, however you see fit, because what you, the things that you speak, um, they have the power to manifest like that. Okay. Have you, I mean, I'm just saying I have spoken about something and it happened 15, 20 minutes later. So be very mindful about what you are speaking out into the universe, even when you get angry with people. And I know that's so hard. Okay. Cause I got a spicy tongue on me. Just saying. But it's, 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 it's something that you will learn as you, you, you'll learn. I promise you, you, you extend people grace and learn not to take things personally. Okay. I'm still learning that as a water sign. <laughs> okay. Cause it's like, I would never do that to you. It just, you know, sometimes it'd be, it'd just be shocking how, you know, how, um, how non-empathetic a lot of people are. And I just be like, really? Are you serious? You you gonna thug me like that? The whole time they didn't thug fifty other people like that before, so it's not a personal thing. That's just someone, um, you know. A lot of people do what they need to do to get their needs met, and if that means I have to disappoint you, hey, it is what it is. Per all right. Now, boom. I'm on to Leo. If you enjoyed that message, you can drop some coins in my piggy bank. My Instagram is Cosmic. Ooh, what am I talking about? 
My cash app is Cosmic Peephole. Um, Venmo is TRJH. Okay, boom. All right, now we are on to Leo. If you know some Leos, um, you can forward them this live. Let me get their letters out. Let me flip these over. Are y'all enjoying these letters, me using these letters? This is something new that I um decided to do. I got it from, I got it from, what's her name? Ooh, what's my baby name? Sunshine Tarot. She's very good. On YouTube, I love her. And she uses actual, like, letters that she shake up. Um, I'm being a do-it-yourself queen, and I got pieces of paper. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, Leo, this is for my Leo sun rising, um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and wherever else in your chart, if you know how to work it. All right. Oh, that wanted to pop up. Okay. We got L. That's one of your letters, Leo. Oh, and surprise, Leo starts with an L. You know what? I'm sick of y'all. Okay. I'm sick of y'all. Y'all play too much. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. So... <laughs> okay, let me start with Leo's. So the first two letters you got was LR. So these can be of significance to you. I don't know. Maybe your initials are LR. You're talking to a Leo who has the initials LR or these letters are in their name. They're in your name. I don't know. But um, basically, what I'm getting from that LR, left, right. So we know when we walk, it's left, right, left, right. Some Leos need to walk away from something before it blows up in their face. Um, I feel like some of Leos are very stagnant. Um, that you're being very resistant to, um, you're being very resistant to go towards environments that water you, if that makes any sense. This may not this may not be for all Leos. I don't think this is the case for all Leos. This may be for a certain set of Leos, okay? So, yeah, I feel like some of my Leos, let's see. I feel like some of my Leos are trying to prove themselves. Like, you're um amongst a, a group of, uh, okay, you, you're amongst a group of people um, it could be career wise, it can be friend wise, it can be a romantic. Some you're just I feel like Leos, some Leos are trying to just force themselves to be a part of something that no longer serves them. Like Leo, um I feel like these people you're above them. <laughs> okay, dare I say it? You know, you already you know you know you already think that Leo. Okay? But why are you surrounding yourself with people who are just ordinary, Leo? That's what I'm getting from this. Why are you surrounding yourself around people that are just ordinary? And when I say ordinary, I mean ordinary in their spirit like there's nothing to like uh, like you know you can leo is a wow factor okay it's like ooh, leo you know when you know the self-esteem and you have you know have cultivated yes yeah, speak on it and they won't step on faith and shine yeah um leo step leo dare i say this i feel like uh tyler's tarot step out on faith and Get a new friend group. That's what I'm feeling. Step out on faith and get a new friend group. This is not going to be for all Leos. I keep saying that. Um, but yeah, I feel like some some Leos, yeah. The time is up. The time is up. Yeah, the time. 
The time is up. And we're in, and we're in airy season, okay? So you know, when if we, when we're in airy season, we can be very impulsive. It's like I'm not thinking; I'm just going. We have Mars and Gemini. That means that there may be some uh, uh, aggressive communication. And mind you, this is for everyone. This is not just Leo. Um, we have Mars and Gemini, which means that people may be talking to you more aggressive while Mars is in Gemini, okay? <laughs> Hold up. Uppity bitch say, what? Who are you talking to? So, you know, just, you know, every season on top of Mars and Gemini, baby, pack your patience, but be ready to put people in their place, okay? We're not taking no shit, per. So, yeah. Mars and Gemini, people may be talking to you more aggressively. Um, you may find you may find that, you know, people are very snappy with you. It's it's just it's the cosmos. And for people who don't have patience or, you know, aren't able to detach and take a deep breath and say, you know, let me not approach someone with this energy. My energy is a little off. You might, you might be amongst someone, you know, I'm just letting, this is a, this is a full warning. You may be amongst someone who might fly off the handle, okay? Just giving you a full warning. But Leo, yeah. yeah. Come on now, Leo, stop playing so much. Movement. Movement, movement, movement. Um, Some of my Leos, uh, it may be calling for you to get into a dance class, yoga. It's always good to use some of that fiery passion creation. Use it in a in a in a in a positive outlet, right? Where you are, you know, relaxing yourself, relieving tension. That's very important. So left, right, left, right, movement. Ooh, left, right, left, right. So order. There needs to be there needs to be some order. When it comes to, let's see. There needs to be some order when it comes to handling your affairs. Um, This could be when it comes to handling, writing in your planner. Getting, ooh, organized. Some of my Leos need to get organized. You, ooh. You may feel like you have a million things that you're trying to do. And it's not enough time. Yes, it is. Prioritize, Leo. You also don't, if you are someone who people pleases and you want to be at, oh, I'm going to go to this person's fashion show. I'm going to go to this person's quinceanera. I'm going to go to this person's sip and see. Uh, You know, Leo wants to be seen. We know you do. My Leo placements, baby, you look good. You look nice. Baby, I understand. I w- I want. I like to look nice, and I like for people. Well, you know what? I'm a loner. Let me stop lying. I like for whoever I'm dealing with to see me. But Leos, they want to be seen by everyone, and that's no shade. Love it. But Leo, um, make sure you have your affairs. Leo, make sure you have your. Okay, baby, it's hitting me, and I'm not. I don't. I only have one placement in Leo, and this message don't even apply to me. I don't. Yeah, it don't apply to me. Um, but yeah, make sure you have your affairs in order and get organized. Okay, hello, somebody. I'm talking to myself. I need to get organized as well. Okay. Um, when we have order, it allows us to have clarity. Okay, and we don't want Leos to not have clarity because you know they might create to you. Um, cursing someone out. You know, this is fire energy, right? We're in a we're in a um an airy season. We don't want you cursing nobody out. We don't want you we don't want you getting snarky with nobody. Okay? So you got L R. So we said that was um movement to moving away from friend groups, um, certain friends that no longer serve you. You know who they got. Stop playing so much. Um you probably was over their house this weekend, like past weekend. Okay, hello somebody. Um, and then hmm, I got the letter P. Okay, 
So L R and P. So I feel like for some people, you have to you have to ad, uh, admire your progress. Okay, these are all letters I'm kidding off the top of my brain. Okay, y'all, just I just be want to show people. You know, some people they don't believe. They're like, oh, you're just guessing. No, I'm just going off of what my body is telling me. Okay, so progress. Um, Leos, do not beat yourself up. Okay, I feel like um some of my Leos are super hard on themselves. You are very you are very much a hard worker. My Leo Sun Moon rising all of the placements. You are a hard worker. Relax a little. Put your feet up. Schedule that vacation. Put the PTO in. They not going they not going I mean, so what if they, you know, if things kind of slow up cuz you're not at work. So what? Take that PTO. Admire your progress. Allow yourself to rest. I feel like, um, you know, with it being airy season, people might be like, oh, it's nice out. Let me go get a drink. Let me go do this. Let me go do that. Do not forget to rest. Do not forget to rest, Leos, okay? Damn, I did not mean to make this this long. But, baby, when I be getting in the mood, I mean, the, the spirit just be talking through me, okay? Let me give y'all y'all um, moonology card. And then we're going to talk about Sag. Ooh, Leo, you got, it's time to release negativity. Um, You could have a little negativity towards someone who's a Scorpio or has Scorpio placements, okay? That's, you know, that's what's on this card. Um, And it could, or it could be someone else, you know, I'm just reading what's on the card. But um, it's calling for you to release some negativity um, towards someone, whether that's a a friend, a lover, a parent, cousin, auntie, whoever it is, um, when we hold on to anger, it creates dis-ease in our body, disease, okay? So if you know someone who's super, super angry, nine times out of ten, their lifespan was shortened. They have, they could um, um, have, um, uh, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Um, they could have heart problems, you know, sitting on suppressed anger, it does nothing but eat you up inside. You don't have, uh, you don't have the space to open your arms to all the abundance that you keep writing manifestations for because you're holding on to all this anger. Like, no, this person made me mad. They need to know when I go around them, I'm going to, um, just be, you know, nasty towards them and make them feel uncomfortable. Leo placement release it and you know you might need some help with that um get a reiki session from someone that you trust okay do do your spiritual baths what you feel called to put in your spiritual bath okay um that's for my leos okay hope y'all enjoyed that and if you enjoyed that my instagram oh i keep saying my instagram my piggy bank is down below let's see sage 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 what we got for my sages? Ooh. A. All right. Hello, hello. For my sages, sun, moon, rising. Mmm. I don't see. Now, you know this is some bullshit. I don't know whether this is. I'm going to take it as it is. I don't know whether this is an M or a W. I'm going to take it as an M. Mm. Let me get one more letter for my stages. One more letter for my stages. One more letter for my stages. Okay. Okay, so boom. You got the letters A, M. Okay, for my sages, you got the letters A, M. I think it's backwards on the YouTube screen. So from that, I feel like a lot of my sages could benefit from saying some I am affirmations. Get into your affirmations. Say them daily. I am abundant. 
in um, positive thought forms, okay? Because we know if we don't have positive thoughts, we're going to just think negative, 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 and be like, oh, I knew that was going to... No, that's what you created in your in your brain, and that's what came up in your reality. So I am, I am, I am uh, creating positive thought forms. I am creating um, positive sh uh, shifts in my environment. I am welcoming change with open arms. I am seeing all experiences um uh, I'm seeing all challenging experiences as something I can transmute into uh, something positive. You know, whatever you see fit, cultivate your intentions so that they are crafted towards you, okay? So I am, um, you got the letter A. So I feel like um, some of my Sag placements are um, being a little competitive when it comes to... Um, you could be being competitive when it comes to someone's heart. You could be being competitive with people around you. Um, baby, I'm getting hot. I don't know. What the hell? Maybe this light is making me hot. Um, I just feel like Sag placements want to be first. Like, I don't know what it is you want to be first in, but Sag placements want to be first in something. You got the letter A, so. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so boom. Positive affirmations. Some sage placements want to be first in something. Um, if you are dealing with someone and they deal with like a whole bunch of other people and you feel like you're competing for this person, hell no. Stop playing so much. We not in the running. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. We not in the running we are not in the running. You are the prize. You're the prize. And you better act like such. Okay? <laughs> act like such. You are the prize. And if you're dealing with somebody who, you know, it's a guy and he think he a bad bitch, you might have to just, you know, leave him be. Because what? I'm the prize. Stop playing so much. Um, Your other letter is... T. So I feel like, oh, you know what, Sag? Your card is the temperance card, okay? You have the temperance card. So it's calling for you to be very level headed, okay? Again, we are in Aries season. We have Mars in Gemini. Um, let me say this. I can see, I can see some Sag placements. I'm I'm warning y'all. I can see some Sag placements going off on someone. And I feel like Sag, you know, you could be trying to um, be patient with this person. Patient, patient, patient. But, you know, sometimes that just goes out the window. We're just thinking about the natural element of fire. Fire don't think about it. It's just, it's up. Now, if you got a fire sign who's being patient with you, okay, fire sign placement, a Sag placement being patient with you, and you're choosing to keep pissing them off, pissing them off, baby, you better duck. Because they get to get, get to get, get to get. I'm telling you, they might get to shooting. They might get to shooting. They might get to shooting, smacking, slapping, capping, capping. Look, I play too much, <laughs> but no, for real. Um, if there's a Sag placement, being very patient with you, don't uh, don't weaponize um this Sag's patience, okay? Because it's taking everything in them to be patient with you, and I feel like someone is having a temper tantrum, um. I feel like someone is having, it's their inner child having a temper tantrum and Sag acknowledges that like, you know what? This is not even about me. This person is, you know, someone stole their bicycle when they were three and they're, you know, they just going through the motions like, you know, um, but your trauma is not an excuse for you to just disrespect people or be nasty to people. It's not. 
sorry, sorry, Tuts. It's not. Because you're going to end up pushing people away and being around a lot of yes men. Honestly. And who wants that? I mean, you know, some people do want that. Because look at the world we live in. You have people that are surrounded by yes men. So, but yeah. Um, don't weaponize Sage's patience. Um, make sure, you know, say it's just try to be as level-headed as possible. Okay. Try to be as level-headed as possible, Sage. Um, let's see. Let me give you a card, Sage. I need to end this YouTube because baby said 35 minutes. Sage placements. We're going to go with this one. Ooh, it says have faith in your dreams so maybe things aren't kicking off with a um a new career that you're in study 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 you see beyonce what didn't beyonce uh prepare for eight months for what an hour whatever y'all know listen beyonce's my girl she has so many stats sometimes i can't keep up but bottom line is beyonce beyonce studied so hard for a performance months and months and day in day in day out day out be relentless and be committed to whatever it is that you want to pursue sage because we know you'll 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 you know you'll be oh i'm gonna be a makeup artist the wind blow you over here at bon quiquis and you say oh you know what i want to be a lawyer you starting your lawyer classes? You you in your lawyer classes? Oh, I like this. Oh, hold up. A bar exam? I don't even like tests. And then whew, you back over here. Now you saying that you want to be a welder. Well, bitch, you said you wanted to be. And listen, you can change your mind as often as you want. This is just for comedic relief okay you can change your mind as often as you want baby okay because sometimes i'm all over the place um so you said you wanted to do makeup you said you wanted to be a lawyer sage placements now you're saying you want to be a welder baby what you doing commit to something like first of all i want my sage placements to Figure out what you are passionate about. Now, some people are passionate about multiple things, okay? It's because y'all might be looking at me crazy like, damn, she was doing this, now she doing that. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I have my 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 uh my interests vary. I don't give a damn. So um release for my stage placements, release this judgment that you feel about um that you feel about finishing things through. Like, you, it's, it's for some stage placements, it's hard for you to be committed to something because then that means you don't have a, um, you, you're not able to escape. You know, that's a, that's a defense mechanism. Oh, I want to get out of this. I'm done. Yeah. Nope. 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 I'm not doing this. So, um, figure out what it is you're passionate about and, exhaust all resources give it your all if that's not something that you want to do then move on because sometimes when we don't fully see something through we will second guess what if i should have did that what if i if you exhaust all options and finish it through and you know you're like okay i really don't want that let me move on to this let me move on to welding finish welding Oh, I don't want to do that, you know? So I feel like sometimes if you finish certain things, you will see, oh, okay, I finished that and I really didn't enjoy that versus stopping halfway and then thinking like, oh, should I go back to that? Oh, I'm in I'm in this new thing. Should I go, should I double back, you know? So have faith in your dream Sage placements, okay? Praise God. We love it. We love it. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My information is down below if you want to drop some coins in my piggy bank. Thank you.